Hello and welcome back. In this video, you are going to see about lenses. The Magic Camera 3D Simulator app will bring you amazing features related to the lenses. So let's move on and I'll show to you most of the things that you are going to find here. So touch here and select the lenses that you want. For now, these are the lenses that you can try with the app. So let's say that you want to see this uh, 16 to 35 millimeters F4L IS USM lens. So clicking here, maybe you figure out some differences from the previous one. See how much chromatic aberration you have with the magic lens. So this is for you to understand the features of the lenses. So if we choose this super high quality 16 to 35 millimeters lens, then you get rid of this chromatic aberration. And this is the result of the simulation for this lens. Okay, now we have here the zoom lens because it's 16 to 35 millimeters. So we are on the learn mode. Okay, so zoom and prime lenses. You already know what's the zoom, right? You are going to increase or decrease the size of an object or a person inside your picture. But what about the prime lenses? The prime lenses are the ones who don't have the zoom. So to increase or decrease the size, you need to move closer or further away from the object. Let's go back to practice. Here we have a zoom, right? So we can go to 16 millimeters, 16 millimeters, up to 35, up to 35. This is the field of view that you have with this lens. But did you understand here, because we are changing the zoom, but your focus is also changing. So I will create fast a scene here. If you choose, for example, let's say, 75 to 300 millimeters and then we move backwards and then we stay like this and do the focus on the model and then we do the zoom and suddenly the model is not in focus anymore it's an example of what can happen to your lens real lens if you are doing the zoom because photo lenses are not made for zooming and keep track of the focus unless you activate this feature on your camera so i'm doing the focus by touch if i do the zoom and rotate i need to focus again and if i do the zoom again i need to focus again so this is what you have as an example of this lens. So for this lens, we also have another feature. So you see that the lens is 4.5, 5.6. So this is the maximum aperture that you can use for 75 millimeters, it's 4.5. And for the 300 millimeters, it's 5.6. This is the maximum that you have. So let's go for the aperture, go for the maximum, so pay attention because now when you do the zoom, not only the focus will change, but also the aperture might change from 4.5 to 5.6 because it's the maximum that you can have at 300 millimeters. So 5, 5.6. What happens when we step down the aperture? The image gets darker. So exactly what you felt here. So again, I'll put my maximum, we do the zoom, and the image start to get darker because we step down the aperture. So this is a realistic simulation from the lenses, the real lenses. So now we are going to check, for example, um, cine lens. So we have the 50 to 100 T2 cine. 
this lens is made for video. That's why Cine. When we are filming something, we don't expect the focus to shift like we have for the photo lenses. So this is exactly what's going to happen here. So we have from 50, we do the focus on the model. So it's 4.56 meters. If we do the zoom, the focus is still in 4.56 meters. So this is what the cine lens are for, for videography. One new type of lens is the 35 millimeters f1.4. So now we have the maximum 35 millimeters, but there is no minimum. We can change this value because it's not a zoom lens. It's a prime lens. So now if you want to have a closer view, move closer. And if you want to show more, you should step back. So this is absolutely what you do in a real life. You position the camera, you walk closer or further away from the subject because you don't have zoom in your lens. If I choose like a T7i camera and now we have other lenses. So we have, for example, this 18 to 135 or the kit lens, it's 18 to 55. So let's get again this 75 300 millimeters. If we point our camera to the sky, we are going to see the vignette in here. So it's darkening on the corners. This is because we are at 75 with the aperture of 5.6. But if we change the aperture, this will change because this is what happens to the real lenses. So the vignetting will change depending on your aperture and also depending on the zoom that you have. So it's a correlation between aperture and zoom. I'm shifting for the aperture priority so we are not darkening the image anymore. So now you can check only this vignette. So here you can see how the darkness of these borders will shift while you change the aperture value. Okay, but what if you change the zoom? It will also change, right? Yes. So you shift with the zoom and you have different vignetting depending on the zoom level that you, you are, for example. So if I am at 300 millimeters with aperture 7.1 we have a very good exposure without too much darkening of the corners but if we change the aperture and open the aperture we have these results if we step down we have different results so now you can understand if your new lens can bring to you sharper corners, not so sharp corners, darker corners, and so on. So you can literally play with the settings and understand what distortions your lens can bring to you. That's it for this video. I hope you liked and see you soon on the next one.